How are we going guys? Welcome back to the Ashby Tapes and welcome to another video. Today I am missing boot season. I'm missing cold weather season. I was just outside on the golf course and it's hot. I was sweating and sweating and sweating and I miss jacket season. You know, summer fashion is something that I don't particularly enjoy. It doesn't really fit my style. I like my layering. I like my jackets. I like my wool. I like my leathers. So today we're going to talk about some leather jackets that I own. Here's some leather jackets that I think you should look at when shopping for a leather jacket. Just some shapes and silhouettes and maybe some brand recommendations as well. So here's my leather jacket collection here in 2021 and probably more to come in the near future. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support you have been giving me lately. Enjoy the collection video. Let's jump right into the collection, starting off with my first like leather jacket. Now this is kind of half leather jacket because it's technically a mixed media jacket, but this one is my most worn and it's not even close because it's so easy to wear. And this is a bomber by All Saints. And you're like, Brent, that's wool. No, these are calfskin sleeves right here. This is Lam lambskin? Cassian, I don't know. But these are beautiful white leather sleeves here that is just this classic kind of 90s bomber aesthetic, which I absolutely love. I wear this in the spring, fall, and winter time. It's an easy jacket to just kind of throw and go. It works with sweatpants, works with jeans, and I can even dress this up a tad. I just love this thing. I never really had a letterman's jacket from my high school. It's just my high school colors were purple, and I I don't like really purple look on me. It's, it's just not my vibe. But this one, I found in Nordstrom Rack. It's an $800 jacket from All Saints. I found it for less than $80. So I had to pick it up and that's why it was my first one. And then leather, I fell in love with. It's amazing, it's got this mixed media. It's got wool right here, which is amazing. It's quilted lining, which is awesome as well. So it keeps you nice and warm, but not too warm. Leather sleeves, which I love. It just kind of adds this pop in this off-white color that is to die for. So it's you can wear this with anything. I mean, any color is really gonna go with this. And then you have leather trim on the pockets as well. And I, I love wearing this one just because it's so easy to wear. It's so versatile and so much fun to wear. I get a lot of compliments on this one because it's kind of that retro 90s, but it's also timeless. I mean, when is this jacket, when is this bomber style gonna ever go out of style? I don't think it will. And that is why I love this one so much. So my first leather jacket in my collection was by All Saints. Mm, beautiful mixed media leather jacket. Let's move on to the next one. Now you'll see kind of a trend in this video. I'm a big suede fan. I mean, suede shoes. I, I love suede. I love leather. Um, so suede counts as leather because it's, you know, it's leather. So my next one is my first all leather jacket by Barney's at New York City. And this is the amazing suede black what is this, a trucker, a chore jacket? It's just a solid zip up and down, two zip pockets, two interior pocket, quilted lining, black suede jacket. Now this is my beater leather jacket. I love a leather jacket because it's bad boy. It's something that you can wear for years and years and years, pass it down to your kids, and they never go out of style. But this one is, I just wear whenever, however, whenever. It's just easy. I'm not scared to beat this one up. I'm not scared to patina and get this one dirty. It's simple, it's easy, it matches almost everything, and it is phenomenal. I really love this one, again, just because of that quilted interior. This is one that I can throw a t-shirt on underneath on a 40 degree day, throw this on over it, and I feel perfect. It's it's light enough to where you can wear it on a little bit warmer of a day because the quilt isn't too thick in there and the sleeves are lined just with a polyester versus just the body is filled with that quilt. So I'm not being too warm in this one versus the other one. Definitely a little bit warmer but this one is phenomenal. I love this one. I've gotten so much wear and so many compliments out of this one. YKK zippers. Phenomenal. Again, this one I found on ASOS and this was like, they mismarked this one. I got this one for less than 80 bucks, which is amazing. You know, a $600 suede jacket for less than 80 bucks. And this one really started me off. This one was like, Brent, get every leather jacket you can find for a good deal. And this one was amazing. As you can see, I'm going in chronological order. This one is definitely probably my most worn. It definitely is. It's not probably as it is. I mean, this thing, if you look closely at it, I don't know if you can see it. No, it's black. But this one has marks on it. It's got a little dings on it, little patinas on it already. And I love this thing. This thing needs to be professionally washed soon. I haven't washed this in the, you know, two years I've had it. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell. It smells like leather. And it is a phenomenal jacket just to kind of throw and go. Any situation, anytime, phenomenal pickup. This next one is super fun. It's actually two shades darker than when I first bought it, just because of the way leather ages, and this thing is amazing. This one is by Reese, one of my favorite clothing brands, and this is a tan suede button-up trucker jacket 
button sleeves, gold detailing, gold two-tone or gold pocket buttons, amazing. And just, I mean, I've worn the heck out of this thing. I have denim marks on the inside, but it's on the inside, so I don't care. This color is phenomenal. I mean, and this is this is high quality suede. I mean, you can you can write stuff on this. It's phenomenal. It's fun to wear to work. Anything from a t-shirt to a dress shirt underneath it, and I'm rocking it. Again, this this is dark in two shades since I got it. And that's just due to the life of the leather getting a little beat up and getting a little more aged and a little more character to it. This is in a size medium. It fits perfectly. It's a little bit cropped. That's why I got it in a medium and also a really good deal under 130 bucks for a $800 suede jacket. This thing is phenomenal. Pick this one up from Nordstrom during quarantine because they were running a sale and then I got my discount because you know I worked there and this one is just phenomenal. The, the camera really doesn't do this one justice. You kind of have to see it in real life to see it. The back is also phenomenally aging well as well and it is amazing. It's paneled perfectly. You've got gold buttons on the bottom to adjust the fit of it as well. And this one I plan on passing down to my kids and having this one for years to come. Now suede's a little tricky just because it's a little bit more delicate than your true you know, top layer of leather, but it's so much fun to wear. So I do have to be a little more careful in this one when I wear it. I don't want to spill or stain it on anything, but I'm not super worried about it at all just because it's it's leather. It's supposed to be worn and that's why they make these things. If you don't wear your clothes, don't buy it in my opinion. Trucker jacket, easy to wear, easy going, and I love wearing it. Now this next one is by far, by far, my most complimented recent one. I don't wear this one as much. It's such a statement piece because of the color, which is funny because it's not a loud color. It's a color that we all know and love. It's in a mocha brown. Now the camera is not going to do this justice at all. It is not black. It is, oh my gosh, camera, pick it up. It is a black Reese trucker jacket, the exact same trucker jacket as the one I just showed you, but with a real shearling collar. So this one is cold weather exclusive fall and winter time because of the shearling collar and this beautiful mocha color goes well with anything. I mean, I wear this with black. The shearling collar is black, so it's a little bit deeper. I hope that B-roll looks fine. There we go. Backlit, amazing, amazing jacket. I love this thing. It's easy to wear with black, browns, blues. It's just kind of that one size fits all trucker jacket. I can dress this one up a tad bit more and I'm not too worried about getting this one dirty because it's not gonna show. Of course, I'm gonna brush it out when it does get dirty and make sure you don't spill any liquids on it. But this thing is phenomenal. Another good deal, under 200 bucks, which was phenomenal. This deep mocha brown. And I think brown is going to be the color this year. If you watched my trends video, if not, I'll link it. It is phenomenal. This one, brown, is going to be the color of the year this year. Hold me to that. Phenomenal jacket. You have this silver chain on the inside and silver detailing up and down. I'm a silver boy. I love silver. I wear silver just because it looks better against my skin. And this one did not disappoint. I'm super happy I found this one for a super good deal. It just went back up in price. And I mean, this is at the rack right now, Nordstrom Rack right now, if you want to pick it up. I don't know if it's still there but it's more expensive on the rack than what I actually got it for at the Full Line Nordstrom store. This one is phenomenal, and I'm going to be passing this one down to my kids as well, and I'm going to be wearing the living heck out of this one. This one, mm, such a good color, such kind of a unique piece being in this dark mocha brown with the shearling collar on there, and it's not too puffy or bulky. I absolutely love this one. Now, what's a leather jacket collection without the most classic leather jacket money can buy you? An investment piece, a piece that you will wear from for years to come. It's been around since the 50s and it will continue to be around in the 2050s. Mark my words. The classic leather biker jacket in black. This one is... I stole this practically. This is a macage jacket. If you don't know what macage or macage is, they are a leather goods company that pretty much specialize in jackets. And this one is no exception. Now, this Saint Laurent look really intrigues me. I don't really fully commit to it because it's not my style, but I love bringing pieces in from people who wear all that East Saint Laurent look. And this is definitely something that I incorporate with my kind of modern classy look. And it is phenomenal. We've got a change pocket right here, which is amazing. We've got two zippers on the side, a zipper right here, really making it here functional buttons on the top as well. And this is lambskin 100%. You have a beautiful lining of polyester, two pockets, wallet pocket, and a passport pocket. This one is just, I'm so glad I found this for less than $130 for this $900 almost dollar jacket. I am truly 
truly thankful that I looked around for it and got it. I saw the price, I got my discount, and, and I just, I couldn't pass it up. I wear the living heck out of this in the winter. Um, some people say I wear it too much. I disagree. I don't think you can wear a leather jacket too much because it's a leather jacket. What's cool about this, it's form fitting. It's also functional. On these colder days, this is gonna keep me warm and keep the elements off my skin, which I absolutely love. And it just looks badass, frankly. That is all there is to it. It is phenomenal. I got it in a size 38. Um, I, I could have worn a size 36, but the 38 was the only size and it fits like a dream. It's a little bit kind of loose through the sides and the arms, which I love, but definitely fitting enough to where it absolutely fits. All of this silver detailing is phenomenal. You have beautiful leather tassels on the zipper. It's a double zipper. Where do I even go? You've got a macage leather patch on the back right here. Black, beautiful leather. What's amazing about this is I can actually polish this. I've got high-end, you know, leather polishing stuff, so I can condition this and make it last a true lifetime. This is something that will never, ever leave my wardrobe, no matter what. This thing is just phenomenal, and I'm so happy that I found this one. Oh my gosh, it is, it's just phenomenal. I'm not one to skimp out on leather jackets just because it is such an investment piece. I think you should really invest in a leather jacket because it is going to last you a lifetime and forever and then some just because it can be passed down and passed down and passed down. So if you haven't invested in a high quality leather jacket yet, I would highly recommend it. High quality does not mean super expensive. Leather jackets come and go into style so you can find one for a good deal at certain times. Right now is a phenomenal time to shop for leather jackets if you're in the market this kind of early summertime just because last season's leather jackets are going out of the stores and they're gonna get ready for the new ones coming in the fall. But this one right here is something that I'm in love with and I will forever have and I'm super thankful that I got this one. This, I, can you tell this one's my favorite leather jacket? I mean, it's the classic, it's it's Fonzie, it's, you know, it's that look, it's that vibe and I, I'm in love with it. This one, amazing, Makaj leather biker jacket, full lambskin, amazing. That's gonna do it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my leather jacket collection. Which one's your favorite? down below in the comments. I'm torn. The Makaj is obviously my favorite, but that kind of lighter brown Reese Trucker leather suede jacket is definitely a close second, and I love wearing that one as well. That one I wear in the summertime too, which is amazing. Linen t-shirt underneath. I feel great. I look great. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you're new here and you liked anything you saw here today, and hit that thumbs up button. We're growing and we're growing fast, so make sure you hop on the train and let's let's get to a thousand. We're almost there. I think we're at like 750-ish, so we're getting there. I truly appreciate it. I love this passion that I'm doing for you guys, and thank you guys so much for leaving a comment. I love trying to respond to you guys, answering your guys' question. But that's gonna do it for today. I love you, Jesus loves you even more, and I will see you guys in the next one.